This is problem number two from section 4.6. It says, find the volume of the largest right circular cone that can be inscribed in a sphere of radius 14. So they wanna know what's the largest volume for this uh, right circular cone that's in, inside the sphere. So what's the volume for this cone? Um, given that the sphere's radius is 14. Notice that the 14 is stretching from the center of the sphere to the ed outer edge of the sphere. Okay, so I wanna make that very apparent that the sphere's radius is 14. So we're gonna go ahead and write that, that the sphere's radius is 14. But we need to recognize that for the, uh, for the cone, right, the cone's radius actually goes for this circle that's in here. Okay, the circle that's in the, the cone right there. The radius for the cone is actually uh, this x value here, so it's not 14. Uh, the cone, you can see, is not directly in the middle of the sphere. That's the only way that the, the, or the circle for the cone to have a radius of 14 would it have to be directly in the middle of the sphere, and it's not. So x is the uh, radius of the cone. Make sure that you understand the, the, the difference here. 14 is the radius of the sphere. x is the radius of the cone, two different numbers. Now, we know that uh, the volume of a right circular cone, so you probably have to look this up, I looked it up, but the volume of a right circular co cone is pi r squared h over three. So I went ahead and wrote that in there, pi, uh, volume equals pi r squared h over three. So that's just a formula that I looked up, uh, and it's a formula you would probably have to look up to to start the problem. Now. Uh, in the formula, we have R, we have H, R and H. We want to write this formula so that we only have one variable, not two variables. So the first thing I started to do is I started to look at what do we have going on in this problem? Well, the cone, of course, the volume for the cone uh, has to do with the height. And we know the height is of the cone is Y plus 14. So I wrote down the height is Y plus 14. So I'm gonna or I'm gonna replace h with y plus 14 here in just a second. So that means I need to find a way to get r in terms of y essentially. Well, the first thing we need to understand is r is not the radius of the sphere. That's a big that could be a big misconception. R is not the radius of the sphere. R is the radius of the circle on the cone. Well, we know r. If, if R is the radius of the circle on the cone, and we know X is the radius of the circle on the cone, then we can say that X equals R. So we know X is actually R here. We could replace this with X. But instead of doing that, you can see we have a right triangle here with 14 being our hypotenuse. We're gonna go ahead and use this formula, Pythagorean theorem, X squared plus Y squared equals 14. So I'm gonna say X squared plus y squared equals 14 squared. I can solve this equation then for x squared because I know x squared is really r squared. And in fact, why don't we just write it that way? This x, we can actually write it as now r squared plus y squared equals 14 squared. And it should make a little bit more sense. So we can subtract the y squared over, we get r squared equals uh, 14 squared is 196 minus y squared. So you can see where these come from, hopefully. Uh, this r squared was replaced with x because that's really the radius of the, the cone. h is obviously the height, and the height is y plus 14. Now both r squared and h are in terms of y. So we can replace the r squared and the h in this formula. Now as I do that, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move this 3 onto the pi because that will make it constant, right? Pi over 3, r squared h. Then I'm going to take and I'm going to plug in the r squared. So I have pi over 3. I know r squared is 196 minus y squared. And I know that h right here is y plus 14. So then I can write that, 
I'm going to write it all the way over here. I'm going to write that as v equals pi over 3. Uh, we can distribute the 196, so that would be 196y. Distribute 196 to 14. 196 times 14 is 2,744. So plus 2,744. Negative y squared times y, negative y cubed. Negative y squared times 14, minus 14 y squared. So then I can rearrange that and say the volume is pi over 3. That's negative y cubed minus 14 y squared uh, plus 196 y plus 2744. Now we need to realize in this problem we want to find the volume. So in order to find the volume of the cone we need the height. So we need y. We got to have y. Once we find y we can find the height. And once we find y, we can find x, which is our radius. And then we could actually just use that, form, that formula to find the volume. Because remember, we're trying to find the volume of the largest right circular cone. All right. I know if I want to maximize volume, then I need to take my equation for volume, take the derivative, and find the maximum. Right? Set it equal to zero. Take the derivative, set it equal to zero, and find the max. So let's take the derivative of this. This would be two or dv over dy, right? Uh, we're going to take the derivative of the volume with respect to y. That's going to equal pi over 3. Remember, it's a constant, so we can just put it outside the derivative. Derivative with respect to y, negative y cubed minus 14y squared plus 196y plus 2744. So that means dv over dy is pi over 3 times derivative in here is negative 3y squared minus 28y. Oop, I forgot the y on this. There it was. So plus 196. And that's a constant, so that goes away. Now I want to set the derivative equal to 0, so I say 0 equals pi over 3, negative 3y squared minus 28y plus 196. And now I'm going to solve for y. Now i got a quadratic, so I'm going to get two values for y, but realize we have a distance here, so the negative version of the y that I get, I'm going to ignore. So when I go to solve this, I divide by pi over 3. I'm going to rewrite this up here. So I divide by pi over 3. That's just 0 equals negative 3y squared minus 28y plus 196. I have a quadratic equal to 0. It looks to me like it's not uh, going to be nicely factorable, so I'm going to use the quadratic formula. So I'm going to say negative, negative 28, plus and minus root negative 28 squared minus 4 times a which is negative 3 times c which is 196 and that's all going to be divided by uh, 2 times negative 3. Remember this is finding our y values. So y equals 28 plus and minus and I'm going to plug all that in the calculator. So negative 28, write that here, times negative 28, minus 4 times negative 3 times 196. And then I'm going to square root that. I get 56. So I get 28 plus or minus 56 over negative 6. So, I'm just going to think through this real quick. Uh, this is 28 plus 56 over negative 6. Or it's, so I'll put or here, 28 minus 56 over negative 6. 
Now, which one does this have to be? Well, it obviously has to be this version of it because 28 minus 56 will give me a negative number divided by a negative will give me the positive number. This is going to be a negative distance. I can't have a negative distance, so I'm going to ignore this one right here. 28 minus 56 is negative 28 over negative 6, which reduces to, if we divide both of those by 2, 14 over 3. So my distance here for the y is 14 over 3. I know that distance now. Okay, now that I know that distance, I know that h is 14 over 3 plus 14. Plug that in the calculator. So 14 plus, we'll even use, whoop, we'll even use a fraction. 14 over 3 gives me 56 over 3. So the height of this right circular cone is 56 over 3. So we know one partial answer to this. The other answer we need is the r squared. Well, we can figure that out by using 196 minus 14 over 3 squared. So let's go ahead and do that. So uh, 14 over 3, let's just do it all together. 196 minus, we're going to do a fraction, 14 over 3, and we're going to square it. Gives us 15, 68 over 9. So now we know that the r squared value is 15, 68 over 9. So now we can figure out the volume. Volume we know is, I'm going to again use, I moved the 3 over, I'm going to use this version of our volume right here, this pi over 3 version. So I'm going to say pi over 3. r squared we know is 15, 68 over 9. So 15, 68 over 9. And then 56 over 3 is h. So I'm going to say 56 over 3 here. When I plug all that in the calculator, so I'm going to use fractions to do that. Pi over 3 times 15, 68 over 9 times 56 over 3. We get a volume of 3,405. I think they want you to round to two decimal places in this problem, so 6,4. So that is our total, that's our maximum volume for this right, uh, right circular cone inscribed inside of a sphere with a radius of 14. Hopefully that makes some sense.